What's up guys, Colton here, that tech guy, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of iOS 6 right here, my fourth generation iPod Touch. iOS 6 is the new operating system Apple released to the public last week to go along with their release of the iPhone 5 last Friday, or yesterday. Now if you haven't updated yet, you can go to Settings, go to General, and software update and I've already updated so it won't say download and install but if you haven't updated yet and you're still on iOS 5 or earlier then it'll say download and install iOS 6 along with a bunch of new features highlighted in iOS 6. Now Apple says that there are over 200 new features in iOS 6. Now I don't want to disagree with Apple's number on that, but I feel like a lot of the features are just kind of an upgrade to iOS 5. So nothing really spectacular has come out with iOS 6. So first thing I want to cover here is the brand new Maps application. So as you can see here, Maps has an entire new logo. Let me get that in focus for you guys. Has an entire new logo and did away with uh, their Google Maps, so Apple decided to um, to make their own Maps application. Um, so if you've been listening to the news or on YouTube or anything like that, you can see that uh, it's not really hitting people too well. Their um, uh, satellite scanning of some areas isn't as good as others, but as you can see, I'm in Boston right now, and if you pull up in this corner you can see the uh, satellite imagery now if you're on an iPhone 5 you also get our iPhone 4s or iPhone 4 or any iPhone or iPad um, you'll be able to see in this little corner right here um, 3D and that will give you a 3D look around your area if it's supported it's mainly major cities right now um, and major monuments and stuff like that um, so it's Apple designed, has 3D maps, um, and also if you have an iPhone, it's going to give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Now since per personally I don't have an iPhone, I'll put a link into this, the description of an example of that to some of the uh, major tech gurus I like to call them here on YouTube. Okay, and, and that's the new maps application. I mean, I'm show traffic, I uh, just saw some here a minute ago. I think that's some right there. Massachusetts Ave looks like. Don't want to take that road. It's a little heavy. Um, but that's the uh, new Maps application. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Now before we head on to the last thing, I just pulled out my iPad 2 here. I just want to give you guys a feel of what the, um, the 3D feature is like on here. So I'm going to search for the um, Sydney Opera House. See, I've already searched for it. Loading up. Sorry, guys, my internet connection's a little slow today. Okay. Looks like that's it. Mm, there it is. Okay, didn't give us the precise location, but that's always good. Um, so if you hit this little icon right there in the corner, that looks like a bunch of little buildings, along with the um, current location tab right there. If you click that, it's going to bring in bring you into 3D. So the way you can do it, you can turn around. Look at that. See, it's really cool when you get to places that are actually in 3D. So, like, you can turn it using two fingers. But if you, like, you can see this, in, there are, like, entire cities in 3D. But if you're in more, like, uh, like non-city-like places like I am, then you're not really going to get the full effect of this. Like, you can even see there's a Marriott right there. You're not going to see that where you are. If you're in a major city, then... More power to you. Okay, I'm going on to the next thing. Another new feature on iOS 6 is to go along with the uh, Twitter integration is the Facebook integration. 
So you can set that up by going to settings, scrolling down to Twitter and Facebook, click on Facebook, and you can set up your profile right there. And also, Facebook has a cool feature where if you like something on the App Store, it'll post it to your wall. Um, if someone invites you to something on Facebook, like an event, it'll put it in your calendar. Also, people on your uh, friends, like, it'll put them into your contacts, like their phone number and in any, in anything. And then there's also Facebook's app, which gives you access to that. And iTunes, so if you like a song or an album, then they'll do that. Um, so a way that you can just post a status anyway, if, if you go to Notification Center, and then you, right here you'll see a new widget, um, tap to post. And do that, a little thing will come down here, and you can just type what you want, and then send it on your way. Um, and it also includes, uh, if you see like a web page you like, you can attach it onto that and stuff like that, just like it does with Twitter. So that is Facebook integration. Another new feature is actually in the Photos app. If you go to your photo stream, you can click edit and then select a bunch of photos. And then if you click share, it'll here I'll even show you. Choose a bunch of photos, then click share. You can see that now says share photo stream. So what that does is it allows you to share, um, select photos from your photo stream to people on your contacts. So let's see, we got my girlfriend Brenna, and I shared um, these four photos with her. And then a cool thing about this, it's it's kind of Apple's way of doing Facebook. So like you can go to this picture and then. You can see this little bubble down here. That's an icon where you can like the picture or just comment. But the cool thing about it is that it's only between the people you shared it with. So you can share this with multiple people and you'll even get a notification when someone likes or comments on it. Now probably the biggest thing an average uh, iPhone, iPod um, user would probably know is um, the addition of the new app on the home screen, the Passbook app, and you see it has a bunch of little tickets in little pockets. Let me let me open that up for you guys. And then this is what it looks like when you first open it up. And what it basically is is you can um, go to the App Store, and there are a bunch of different apps that um, allow you to use the uh, Passbook app. So like, um, you can go into an airline for like a boarding pass, like movie tickets or concert tickets. Um, uh, store cards. So, like, you, I think um, next week or so, Starbucks is going to add um, store cards. Like, you can put like twenty-five dollars on a card and you can just scan it through. And then also coupons. So, let's go to the App Store, see which um, apps support that. No, apps for Passbook. You can see I've already have all these downloaded, but there's stuff like uh, American Airlines, Fandango Movies, Live Nation, which is like concert tickets, um, MLB, so like going to a baseball game, just scan that, that's your ticket, coupons through Target, Ticketmaster, Walgreens. So really, it, once people take advantage of it, I think Passbook is going to be a great thing, but let me just show you, I'm going to open that up. Let me just show you how it works, like if you were going to the Target app and get their coupons. So it's loading back up. If you go to their home screen, it actually debuts their uh, use of the Passbook app. So start saving. Again, the coupon. So these are all the coupons. I think, I think it's for the week or something like that. You can go all the way down to the bottom. It says Add to Passbook. I'm getting the Pass. And then it makes the pass right then and there. And then you click Add. And there you go. That's it. So once you go into your Passbook app, there it is. And once you have multiple um, uh, Passbook uh, cards, then they'll uh, actually line up down the way. And you can just click on them and they'll go. But this is what you do. You just show the lady at the front register, she'll scan it, you get the coupon for whatever it is. Um, and then another cool thing is that there's time and location bases on here. So 
let's say you wanted to um, open up your boarding pass once you got to the airport, it'll notify you of that. Now there's been a couple new additions to the uh, mail apps. If you open that up and you go all the way back, you can see the option for add VIP. And basically what that does is that it just prioritizes some of your email addresses that are maybe more important to you than others. So what you do is just go to add VIP and it'll bring you to your contacts list and you can just pick their email ad addresses out of there. But also if you were to write a new one, uh, you can tap and hold and it'll give you the option to insert um, photo or video so like beforehand you had to um, you had to uh, copy it and then do all of that whatever and then also there's this cool little icon that uh, lets you refresh it it's kinda cute now probably one of the uh, changes I like the most is the changes to Safari on the um, iPod touch uh, and iPhone so if you open it up, um, it looks pretty much the same, but there's a couple new features. So like, if you were to go right here to your bookmarks, there's now a thing for iCloud tabs. And if you tap that, these are all of the um, tabs that are open on my iPad right now. And it also works with OS X Mountain Lion. Um, if you have that installed, you can see what's open on your other iDevices. So that's pretty cool. And then another thing is, is if you actually use the um, reading list, which I barely do, um, it'll download, I guess, the entire web page, um, and it'll, you can use it offline. And then another feature is, if you turn it, it goes into full screen, just like that. And if it's not in full screen right away, uh, there are these little uh, arrows in the bottom uh, right-hand corner, or, yeah, <laughs> you can press that. It'll make it full screen, gives you the option of making it smaller. Now before I forget, I just wanted to point out a couple new features that are just for the iPhone. So like FaceTime is now over cellular and 3G. Um, if you go to the um, phone, uh, or the lock screen actually, and someone calls you, and you know, here I'll show you, you know this little camera icon, it'll turn into a little phone icon, you can swipe up, It'll give you the um, options of declining, answering, replying with message, or to remind you later. And basically, if you tap reply with message, it'll say, it'll send them a message saying, I'll call you later, I'm on my way, blah, blah, blah. Also, going along with that iPhone stuff, um, Siri has now gotten smarter. She knows more about sports, restaurants, movies, and it's also um, been enabled for the uh, the new iPad. I have the iPad too, so unfortunately I can't use Siri on that. I'm going to give you guys a demonstration. And then uh, it's also for the 4S and the 5. And once the 5th generation iPod Touch comes out, um, it'll be able to um, use it on that too. And I'll put a link in the description of um, some examples of smarter Siri. Well, that was a lot harder than I expected. As you can see, I got it done. Thanks for watching, guys. iOS 6 walkthrough, that's what's up. Um, my video camera just sucks, and I had to convert all the files and then edit it. Um, sorry for this crappy little ring around me. It kind of looks like I'm going towards the light, but um, if you guys could leave a like, comment, subscribe, definitely tell your friends. That's how we're going to get this channel up and running is through uh, word of mouth. So thanks a lot, guys. Um, yeah, you're awesome.